when selecting a chemical injector from our website, it's important that you know the flow and pressure of your machine that the injector is going to be working on. And we've got a chart to help you select all the correct equipment. Uh, it's in the help and advice section of our website. So if you just click on that, and then you can go to the form, the interactive form nozzle sizing chart. And obviously if you know the flow and pressure, you can then select the chemical injector you require. And this will also bring up the associated products that you need to work with that. We often get questioned about our ST160 chemical injectors. Uh, some people maybe feel that they're not getting quite the best form from them, uh, even though these are a really reliable product um, and don't require a lot of maintenance really. But there can be many reasons why you maybe don't get the, the kind of form you're looking for. Nice fixed sticky form. Uh, it could be anything down to the fact that your, your foam pad in your ST75 has maybe got clogged up and needs replacing. Uh, we do have a separate video for that on our maintenance um, area of our YouTube channel. Um, and you can also find it on the top of our website. So there's a more in-depth video of how to replace that. But that can be one reason why your foam isn't quite thick and sticky how you might want it. Um, also the chemical injectors. It's always a good idea to run a filter on your, on your line that's supplying the injector before it gets there. So this keeps contaminated water out, out of the uh, injector itself. But if you haven't done that, we also have a, a video on how to check your injector for any blockages uh, and this involves removing the counter nozzle that's inside there and checking the spring um, so yeah it's worth taking a look and those are some of the reasons why you might not be getting the form you want um, so yeah don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can get lots of advice on there